provide my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to show you how to install Google Play services in Google Play onto your Kindle Fire device. This is a Kindle Fire 10 and as far as if we go into the settings device options and then if we go into the system updates it will show us the version and that is 5.6.0.0 .0 .0. Now, as far as that goes, if you go into, again, the settings, go to security, first thing you need to do is make sure that the app for unknown services is on. You're, you will get a warning. Go ahead and OK that. So following that, what you need to do is in the browser, in the default browser, go to the links I provide below. You can go ahead and download each and every one of them. But you need to install it in order is very crucial now to get to the to the downloads just go to swipe uh, left and you can go and get the downloads from there but again you need to install it one by one uh, uh from the first one down and um what's going to end up happening is you'll see on the bottom right it will be grayed out in many cases if it's not go ahead and install it but if it is, then um, I'll leave a link down below to some ways of fixes. Google and Amazon it has a feud going on right now. Long story short, basically the customers getting a tell and stick. So with that, um, Amazon is trying to block Google's native stuff on their own systems. So we got to find ways around it. Funny thing is, is easiest way I found around it is simply pressing the power button then press the power button again, unlock the device, and then the install button will still be grayed out, but if you touch it, it will allow you to install the thing itself. And um, if that doesn't work, then there's a few other methods. Again, I'll leave a link down below so you can take a look at that. But once you have all those installed, you can um, go ahead right now and restart. And then whenever you do restart, you will see Google Play Store and also the Google Settings. Go ahead and sign in and then install, install and stuff. Note that um, you may come across one or two errors here and there, but for the most part, you're going to be able to get 99% of what you get on any other Android device through this. So with that one in mind, if you got any questions, anything else, then feel free to let me know and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.